Ke Kelly's going to be more like a, a, a mentor, you know, for um, my manager, Tommy. So, obviously, he's worked with Lennox Lewis and all that, so he's got loads of, loads of knowledge on heavyweights. And uh, so, Tom, Tommy will pick his brain and we'll, we'll take all the best out of it. You mentioned there, obviously, when it comes to heavyweight boxing, there's not many people who know more about it than, than Kelly guiding Lennox Lewis and obviously more recently David Price, people like that. How important was that to this decision to kind of link up? Well, it was more, it was more um, Tom, Tommy's decision, you know. Um, I've always said that managers manage and fighters fight, you know, and uh, he thought this would be a good career path to go, so I'll put my trust in him. So how does it kind of alter your career path, if it does at all? Um, what I mean by that is, w will you be out more often? Will you keep going the same sort of pace? How, how will it change? Well, obviously, uh, with the help of Tommy Pratt as well, we're hoping to get a lot more sparring, um, obviously get a lot more fights happening, because uh, he's going to help out with opponents and all that. Uh, try to get on a few more shows, because uh, last year we, were, we weren't very busy, you know. We only had two fights last year, which I wasn't happy about, to be honest. And uh, this year we're hoping to get at least another six before the end of the year. How, how tough is it up there in Inverness? As we, as we know, you know, Scotland not renowned for heavyweight boxing. So you're up there plugging away and, you know, carving your career path. But is it tough for sparring opponents and stuff like that? How, how do you kind of go about that when you're, you know, the only one up there? Yeah, it's, it's very difficult for sparring uh, out of my, my 20 fights, you know. I probably only had about seven, seven decent spars, you know. Yeah, um, and all of them have been, all of them have been travelling away, you know. We've yeah. been, we had to go to Germany, Poland, never been up in Inverness. Um, so we're hoping that with the help of all these, these promoters and Tommy, Tommy Pratt, that we can get some top sparring up in Inverness. You're obviously kind of under the microscope in Scotland already, you know, being the only heavyweight and looking to become the most Scot successful Scottish heavyweight. Now you'll be even more so under the spotlight, given your relationship now alongside Kelly Maloney. Is that? Do you feel that pressure? Do you do you feel that at all? You know, coming coming down here and seeing the turnout that now everyone's going to be very interested in your career path. Um, to be honest, it'll probably take a wee bit of limelight off us. Uh, so, but I'm happy with that. You know. Um, I just want to fight, that's, that's the bottom line, just want to get in the ring and fight. Um, you can ask my manager, he just phones me up, tells me who I'm fighting and we turn up and do the business. What's the, what's the route now because we obviously talk about British title, we've never had a Scottish British champion in the heavyweight division, um, do you know the, the route, You're going down there's various eliminators called and stuff, do you know the next step for you along that, that journey? Well I've got a fight on the 23rd of May for the IBO international title with against uh, the Hungarian champion and he's rated 50 places above me so it's a good a good step up you know um, but we've had a look at him and we think we're pretty confident we're going to win as you are with every fight um, and then we just take it from there you know we don't we don't ever look past the next opponent there's no point in planning two fights down the line you know if, if I go out there and get beat the next fight where'd I go yeah. I'm back down the ladder, you know, so we look at the next fight. Heavyweight division is often kind of seen as a very shallow division in terms of opponents, but when you look at the British title level, there's some good opponents, like to be in Lewis and Dillian White, people like this. Are they, are they names that are on, on your agenda when it comes to looking for that British title? Yeah, definitely, you know, we've, uh, we had an eliminator lined up with uh, Sam Sexton, um, unfortunately got injured, then we had one with Lewis and got injured, um, so all these names are still floating about, you know, and uh, we've been offered, when was it? So yesterday we got offered Price. We got offered David Price, yeah. David Price yesterday, you know, but it's just, it's a bit too short notice because yeah. it's only two weeks after my, my next fight. But if, it, if we had a good bit of notice, we had plenty of sparring and that, we'd be quite willing to take that fight. That's testament to the, the idea of building you slowly and gradually, that you're not jumping into a Price fight, which it could be dangerous at, at this stage. Every heavy fight, every heavyweight fights dangerous, you know. They all carry a big punch. Um, so, is it, aye, any fight, any fight's dangerous. Doesn't matter if it's Price, doesn't matter if it's Sultan, anyone. They're all dangerous. You could, you could get him with just a journeyman, you know, and close his eyes and land right in your chin, and that's you. Some story though, given Kelly's or Frank's association with David Price, that you could be coming up against him at some stage, and that's a, a target for you. Yeah, definitely, you know, um, 
obviously Price was, Price was on for the world world title until what happened with Tony Thompson, so he's at a high level, you know, and we're wanting to see push ourselves as far as we can go. And Anthony Joshua as well, a name mentioned there, big target. Obviously, he's there to be shot at as the Olympic gold medalist and all this sort of stuff. But you, you think that that could be a fight down the line? Yeah, definitely. Um, hopefully, not too far down the line, you know. Maybe like three, four, five fights, maybe. Five fights, you know, and uh, as long as we still keep our zero. Yeah. Do you see weaknesses in, in Joshua? Because there's a lot of hype around him. Obviously, he's on Sky all the time. But when you watch him, do you see weaknesses that could be exploited? Yeah, you see weaknesses in every fighter. Um, but I'm not going to say too much. Just one final one on the British title. Is that a, an ambition of yours? As it has been for a while, because, like you say, you've never had one from Scotland in the heavyweight division. Is that something that you're really targeting? I think any fighter that goes in a boxing targets winning titles, you know. And uh, we've got the uh, IBO international title next, and we're we'll concentrating on that. And obviously, if we keep our zero, keep winning. Joshua fight will come, British title fight will come, all the titles will come as long as we keep winning, you know. Mm. May the 23rd is that. How many times are you hoping to be out before the end of the year? Hopefully another six. Yeah, yeah. Five, five or six, you know, that's, that's uh, what we've been talking about, you know. I've been pestering Tommy all the time, texting him, phoning him, saying, get me, get me fights, get me fights. He'll tell you, he probably gets a wee bit pissed off. <laughs> <laughs>